A lot of us start each day with the plan to get so much done. We're going to work out. We're going to vacuum later. I mean, the things we want to do. <laughs> but we soon find ourselves getting distracted and overwhelmed to, for, with all of our to-do lists. But the intent is there, so the it's got to count for something, right? <laughs> the big question is, so how can you regain control of your time and boost your productivity? Our Zach Lajway is joining us now with a few tips that could help. Good morning. Listen, TGIF. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah. a, a weak high five. I nearly missed your hand. Well, let's do it again. Let's, let's try Come it again. On. Oh, yes. If you find yourself <laughs> zoning out or getting stuck on something, it's okay. You are not alone. I'm more productive than anybody else in my office, I can tell you that. A recent study found the average office worker is productive less than three hours a day. They're probably on the internet half the time. <laughs> to up your productivity, experts say, stop multitasking. Research suggests multitaskers are slower at completing tasks than non-multitaskers. Next, track and limit your time. Only 17% of people are able to accurately estimate the passage of time. A tool like Rescue Time can help track exactly how much time you spend on social media, email, word processing, and apps. Implement the two-minute rule finding and immediately completing tasks that take two minutes or less actually saves time. And take care of the biggest tasks when you're most alert. There's no set schedule that works for everyone. Another way to stay more productive, turn off your notifications. Instead, build in time to check email and messages. And just say no to meetings. The average office worker spends more than 31 hours each month in unproductive meetings. And if you absolutely have to have a meeting, there is some evidence that standing can result in increased group involvement. One more thing, do not forget to take regular breaks. This is according to the experts. They say it will help you maintain a constant level of performance. One study states adding exercise into those breaks will help improve Focus, mm -hmm. not cigarette breaks. No, exercise, no, exercise. for sure. Yes. Absolutely. Exercise. We should have walking treadmills up here as we do the show. <laughs> I mean, why, why not? You'd have miles. Miles and miles. Miles under your miles feet. Miles and miles. <laughs> okay, thank you, right. Zach. We'll try our best. Yeah. I know we won't get it all done still.